In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this new Morphic flowchart design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have this is the starting point and then I have added, depending on the requirement, a different shapes. You can see here it goes here. Then there's a decision. If it is no, it goes back to this one. And if it is yes, it come back here and then it will finish. So depending on your requirement, you can easily add or delete the options. So if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background. You can see in this case, I've just used a very light shade of a blue kind of color or a bluish gray. So any color of your choice, you can choose it. Make sure it is very much light and then go to view, enable the guides. Then I'm going to use uh, some neomorphic design for that. Go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to select the old shape, draw the old shape by holding the shift key and shape outline, make it no outline and make sure that it is aligned center and shape fill i'm going to give the same color which i have used for the background okay so i'm just going to click this one so it is not visible now the next step i'm going to give some shadow effects for that go to the effects shadow you can see go to presets and from others i'm going to select which is this one which is offset bottom right you can see here something like this and now the color whether you want more darker or less darker depending on your color combination you can choose maybe i'm just going to give some a gray color here you can see and then if you want you can just increase the the distance here all right so this is the one and one more uh, shade i want to give uh, which is a white color so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to duplicate this so you just press the control and shift together and add one more you can see here one more has been added and then go to the effects again shadow i'm going to select which is you can see here the top left all right so this is 225 degrees angle and then the color i'm going to choose as white if it is not visible then what you need to do is you need to reduce the transparency of this one maybe i'm just going to make it maybe 20 all right then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select both of this, then go to shape format, align center and align middle. So we end up getting a shape, something like this. And these two shapes, I'm going to group it, press control G to group it. So we end up getting a shape, something like this. And I want to add one more shape inside this, press control D to duplicate. I'm going to hold the shift key and reduce the size okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select this i'm going to make as a gradient fill all right so i've used two colors here one is a white or the same color and then i've just used one more a lighter color you can see here this is a light blue all right and then i'm just going to put on top of this so i end up getting a shape something like this so this is my starting point of the flow chart so i'm just going to insert text box and I'm going to just say start and choose some good font maybe I can choose some this blue put it in the center and change the font to some good font I'm going to use a Roboto you can see here so this is my starting point and then I need to add the other details of the flow chart now let's add the, the shapes or the steps so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here i've added this shape here then go to the shape format i want to uh, convert this to a rectangle one so i don't need to delete and create it again instead of wasting the time what i can do is go to shape format you can see the edit shape here and change shape i'm going to select the rectangle can you see the rectangle has been created I can just reduce the size depending on the requirement i can make it maybe it's two and the height i want to just reduce to maybe 0.8 something like this and then if you want to give some gradient fill also you can give so i'm just going to select this i'm going to use two gradient fills to so select the gradient fill the first fill i'm going to use any 
a light color and the other one I want to use some dark color something like this you can see here or if you want you can just make it the same a gray shadow effect also or gray effect here so depending on your requirement you can add it so now let me just add few more again hold the control shift key together and then just drag it here you have added one more here then I want to add two more down so I'm going to just depending on the requirement how many you need how much uh, shapes you need you can just add it like this you can see here then I want to duplicate this again I'm going to just duplicate this press ctrl D and I want to give a diamond shape or a decision shape again go to the edit shape change shape I'm going to choose this one you can see here the diamond so the diamond shape is here again if you want you can just use the same color or different color depending on the requirement so likewise you just need to add as many as per your requirement so I'm just going to add you can see here if you feel that okay you need to add some gradient fill you can add it and one more shape i just i need to do that one so i'm just going to select this again shape format edit shape and i'm going to choose the shape which is this one the parallelogram you can see here and i want to just change the color of this maybe i want to use kind of a purple a light and the dark purple you can see here something like this you can also use it so I'm just going to add few more shapes let me just add it and then we'll connect each one so you can see here I've added all the required shapes uh, to make my flow chart starting from the, the start let me just move it somewhat up and then I just need to make sure that this is properly aligned in the center so I have to just select and go to shape format align I have to center it you can see here and this also I need to just center it and I need to just give some gaps here so I'm just going to select and again first of all make sure that it is aligned on the the top and then I'm just going to give some gaps here all right and this also I can give some gaps or I have to just select and make it somewhat reduce size so depending on the requirement for example I want to reduce the size of this holding the shift key I'm just going to reduce the size you can see here all right so I have reduced the size and then what I'm going to do is let me just remove the guides then the first thing go to insert shapes from the lines I'm going to select the line arrow from the center to this center you can see here make a straight line and whichever color which you feel better you can just change the color of the line and from here it is going towards this one okay you have to make sure that if it is going like this then the line will be like this so you have to make sure that it is properly aligned okay and then from here or I can just duplicate this press ctrl D this one will be with this you can see here and this is coming from the top See, this is not matching either I have to move this or the top one so let me just align this you can see here now one more I want to just make sure that it is going at the top or whichever way you feel for example it should go and uh, say let me just add it here one more line press ctrl D okay this will have to come here from this but this look uh, does not look good so what I'm going to do is right mouse click connector type I'm just going to say connector elbow you can see here you can just make it something like this also so that it's going back to this one and again press ctrl D to duplicate it is coming here so likewise just you need to do it one by one again from this it is going on top again this is not straight I just need to make it straight you can see here again press ctrl D this is going here I have to just make it up and then duplicate this so it likewise depending on the requirement I'm just adding it you can see here press ctrl D so 
so i'm just let me just complete it so this is the easiest way you can make a flow chart in powerpoint and again from here it has to go at the top you can see here again this is not center so i have to make this one to move, make it more center so this line is okay press ctrl d again this one with this one so i have to make this up you can see here and then at last this is going to the finish line something like this and again if it is not aligned we don't we need to just arrange it all right so you can see here uh, i have just put all the required lines uh, connecting which each other uh, this one and now it's time to add the label so i'm just going to insert text box you can just add your text here add your text here you can see something like this again make white font whichever color you feel let me just make it white so it's visible reduce the size and then i'm just going to duplicate this i'm going to copy on every option so this text you can easily replace with your own text you can see here press ctrl d and here and the one last is pending which is i'm going to put it here and here i want to put some decisions so white text will not be visible so i'm going to make it a blue one and then i'm going to make it as a decision all right so you can see here this is the decision press ctrl d to duplicate add one more here ctrl d add here and then again go to insert i'm going to add a text if it is no what it has to do it is no it has to go here you can see here if it is no Control D if it is yes, it has to come here. So I'm just going to make this as yes. Again, Control D if it is yes, it has to go here. No, press Control D, it will come here. You can see here. Again, no, it has to go up. Like this, you can see here. And this is yes. So our design is ready so depending on your requirement you can just add more options or you can reduce the options and then the last thing is you can add some basic animation effects to it